Rugby Union Guide to Kicking Hello and welcome to Video Jug. Rugby is a game enjoyed by millions of people around the globe. We've joined up with National League One rugby club Isha at one of their pre-season training sessions to bring you everything you need to know to play like a true professional. Like many things in rugby, kicking's a tricky skill to say the least. The only way you're going to get really good at it is by near-endless practice. It's worth it though. A solid kicker is worth his weight in gold in a rugby team. Place kicking. Place kicks are used for penalties and conversions. Firstly, set your ball down on the ground, preferably using a good quality tee, and make sure it's at a comfortable angle and you've got a clear line of sight to the goalposts. Next, take your position. A few steps back and to the side ought to do it. Give yourself enough space to get a few big strides run up in before you kick the ball. There needs to be about 45 degrees angle between you, the ball and the goalposts. Visualise where you want the ball to go and then focus on the ball. You're looking to make contact about a third of the way up the ball using the instep of your foot and follow through with your whole body. Don't try to kick the ball at the point directly between the goalposts. Instead, focus on getting it far beyond that, into the distance. Pro tip. The longer your foot is in contact with the ball and the quicker it's moving, the more powerful your kick will be. Drop kicking. Drop kicks are generally used to restart the game at a kickoff or a 22 meter dropout. However, there are points available if you've got the space to kick for goal. Any player can score from a drop kick and getting the ball between the post earns three points. There's a knack to this. Legally, after you've dropped it, the ball needs to bounce before you can kick it. To pull off a successful drop kick, you need to hold the ball about waist height, pointing directly downwards. Get a good look at the posts and visualize what you're about to do. From this point onwards, only look at the ball. Take a step forward with your non-kicking foot, and as you bring the other foot forwards, raise your knee. As the ball hits the floor and begins to bounce, you'll need to bring your kicking foot forwards and strike the ball. Pro tip. Raise your opposite arm slightly and use it for balance. This should help your aim. Punts. Punting's the sort of kick every player needs to know how to do, whether to get your team further up the field or just to get the ball away from the 18 stone monster who's bearing down on you. Firstly, hold the ball at waist height, at about 35 degrees and away from your body. Your non-kicking foot needs to be firmly on the floor and whatever you do, don't take your eyes off the ball. You're looking to make contact with the ball on the top of your foot, by your bootlaces. You don't want to hoof it with your toes, that'll be inaccurate and could go anywhere. Make sure you follow through with your kicking foot and watch it sail to where you wanted it to go. Done.